recently I did a video on reversing a string and um, one of the YouTube um, subscribers sent me a message that could I do the same for reversing an integer they basically wanted to be able to enter say one two three four and it reversed it I thought well oh, it's the same thing really there's not, not a lot different so I've just modified the um, reverse the string to reverse an integer so if I run this program and type in 1 2 3 4 and enter it will return the reverse 4 3 2 1 and it's doing this it's returning as, as the uh, viewer asks it's returning it uh, and sending it in as integers so you can see here I'm taking in the integer I'm calling my reverse function uh, with my integer I go into the reverse function bring it in as an integer, as a number, so I'm dealing with numbers setting up some variables and then just here I convert the number to a string because that's the, the only way you're really going to do it, you've got to be able to access each individual character once you've done that, convert it to a string it's quite simple just to use the reverse function that we did before to reverse it and then once it's reversed I convert it back to a number so there's our text being reversed, that's the reverse string back to an integer, into the integer value and returned and back to main and we're outputting that integer so that's exactly um, what you asked for uh, let's have a quick look at the task that you sent me so, oops, sorry so here it is, uh, after an application that uses went into a positive integer does that, outputs an integer does that has the same digits as the as input but reverse for example 1357 becomes 7531 so this does exactly that um, let's run that 1357 going in as an integer 7531 being outputted as integer so I hope you find that useful that's a, a dead easy version of that application but using integers